Ladies and gentlemen, it's, it's time, time for Guy Williams' segment. This week, Jono, a story that has shaken the nation to the core. Guy, you said your last three stories were going to shake the nation to the core, mate. They barely, they barely wobbled the I'm nation. I'm going to be honest with you, Jono, I was lying. I was not telling the truth. This week, however, I've solved the story of the Ken Eastwood fence in Rangariri. Let's check it out. It is a name that'll be familiar to anyone who's driven between Auckland and Hamilton. A debt collection notice daubed in white paint on a green corrugated iron fence. But it was a story that needed answers. The Dominion Post, Waikato Times and Campbell Live had all done stories on Rangariri's famous sign. But no one had figured out who painted it and no one knew who Ken Eastwood was. Who is he? We don't know. Until now. Campbell Live reporter Lachlan Forthyth has started his journey at the pub. I decided it would be a better idea to actually go to the house where the sign was painted on, and sure enough, a breakthrough. Looks like there's no one home. Obviously, that wasn't the breakthrough. But there was a car for sale outside, and it had a number on it. Oh, hi, it's uh, Guy Williams from the Jono Project on TV3. Um, I've called to inquire about the um, Ken Eastwood sign. Are, are you the person that painted it? Thanks, Stu. Bye. Two hours and one delicious egg sandwich later, I returned to the house and met with fence painter Stu McCulloch, who explained how the dispute with Ken Eastwood began. He approached me about buying a car I had for sale. He agreed to pay me a deposit. He said, I'll pay you the rest in a fortnight when I get paid. Well, and a fortnight later he was gone. So, um, yeah, I thought I'd take some action. So action he took. He hung a sign to the fence, which mysteriously went missing. So right into the shed, I got the old spray cans out and I made sure that it was permanently on there. It's a bloody good sign. <laughs> it's a sign of the times. Sign of the times. I had already surpassed every other media outlet that covered the story, but I had a burning question. Where was Ken Eastwood now? I couldn't find him in the cafe. One thing I did find was another egg sandwich, as delicious as the first. A quick Google search revealed he had appeared at the Lower Hutt District Court, so I cleared my bank account and made the arduous hour and a half plane flight to Wellington. As soon as I touched down, I got on the phone and cold cold every Eastwood in the book. And sure enough, I got my man. This is him. Hi, Ken. Hi, Ken. It's so, uh, Ken, so good to talk to you. It's Guy Williams here from the Joe Project on TV3. Yeah. Um, yeah, just calling about the, this, the sign on State Highway 1. Oh, don't worry about that, mate. Oh, I was just interested in it. Uh, no, sorry, if I just want to talk about... Hang up. I got the number, though. I got his, got his address. So cool. Hi, I'm Guy Williams. We're here to meet Ken Eastwood to talk about the um, uh, sign on State Highway 1. OK. Um, don't know much about it. Go get him. Ken, um, the Jono pro program's here. Finally, I found the man the world was searching for. Hello. Hi, it's Guy Williams here from the Jono Project on TV3. Oh, fuck. You know, I'm not interested, eh? You can fuck off. Can I don't want to talk. I, I, can offer, I can offer maybe some money. Oh, uh, maybe I'll talk then. Ken, Eastwood, it's great to finally track you down. Right, thanks very much there, Guy. Has it been, like, embarrassing to have your name on the fence? Yeah, it had its moments. There was friends of mine in Huntley at the time that uh, were going to deal to this guy. Uh, there was one sign on there previous, and uh, it got removed. So they stole his sign? Oh, they just they, they removed it, yeah. What do you mean they removed it? They removed it off the fence. That's, that's stealing? No, not really. So did you send them around some hitmen? No, 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 they, uh, they went on their own accord. Um, Voluntary hitmen? Yep. Yeah. What sort of shit hit me into that, is that? Yeah, I reckon. Yeah. So, Ken, where's the car now? Scrap metal, probably. Scrap metal? Yep. You don't actually know, though? Uh, oh, I, I don't know if it is or not, no. Uh, it's time to turn up the heat, Ken. Where's the car now? It's scrap metal. Still scrap metal, is it? Yeah, scrap metal yeah, now. Still so it is scrap metal, then. Ken agreed to talk to me for $300, the same amount of money that would pay off his debt with Stu. I'll just put it into the put it into his bank account. I'll, I can do that on Monday. Oh, you, you, you could just... Um, you, I, I, I'm a bit worried about your reputation with money. Sorry, do you have anything you want to say to Stu? Basically, just uh, sorry for all the um, inconvenience over it. And let bygones be, go, be, bygones. be bygones. Be bygones, be bygones, yep. Yeah, kick the deer in the gut. Mm. Punch the train in the face. Yeah. Yeah, don't, no point kicking a gift horse in the mouth. Yeah, exactly. 
Back in Rangariri, closure. The debt was repaid. You can count it out if you want. Uh, the final step, the second final step in our journey. And the fence repainted. I don't want to say that I created a miracle, but I did. I definitely did. Guy, that is your that is your greatest story ever. Best ever story. <laughs> Woo! Woo! And you got some marketing, I see, there too. First ever billboard. It's just a it's just a fence in Rangariri, but I'm not gonna bring the moment down. Not mate. gonna bring you, down the mood. Well. Guy Williams, everybody. Guy Woo! Williams. Woo!